Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome back to the Deceptor Lab with your boy Freezius Max. And today, uh, coming to you for a weekly con highlight. So I wanted to do something a little bit different this go around. Um, you know, I hadn't really talked too much about Trypticon, so I'm actually going to do my video today on him. Uh, as there have been some changes made by Space Ape just to get uh, to get the Titan Assault mode reworked to get um, also well I and mean, I already talked to you guys before about how there was additional damage that was being done by Death Ray so we're just going to take a look and see what's going on so right here I'm going to go to the game screen take a look at my trip to con now I'm a little bit behind compared to some players I just got to level 14 today and so I was happy about that um, and let's just take a look at the Titan Assault mode alright so I'm gonna start off with the second note Metro I already beat the very first uh, Metro and I'm just going to go ahead and take a look all right I need to go change my loadout and we'll talk about that in a little bit but yeah it's just uh I did get a chance to check out the test server and it did seem like it was doing pretty well on there uh, I was actually the big thing is Space Ape is saying that now you should be able to beat that Node 3 Titan and so I was kind of curious about it I tried it a couple of times on the test server it seemed to work pretty well this will be my first time looking at it on the live server um, there are some times where this stuff doesn't match perfectly but I've been talking to some other players and they've been saying that, that they were able to successfully beat the third Titan so we'll see how it goes but right now I'm just on the second one he's and even though I'm making a lot of mistakes uh, you know he's he's pretty easy as a three-star so I'll tell you some of the conversations that were going on uh, as as we were play testing these Titans and so it's it, it kind of threw me off a little bit because when people first start and if you guys look at the newsletters and you look at anything uh, the Texas Titan puts up there he gives a breakdown like every single week of what's going on or what the Titan if, if every perfect world scenario uh, if you wind up beating everything you played it week week after week and you beat it to the level um, that your Titan was capable of these are the results that you should have and so now we're starting to get people up to level 15 uh, on their Titan level who still were unable to defeat the Titan and so that became an issue because that Space Ape was saying that wasn't their intent but I said I remember when we got to level 14 they were saying that that was their intent so what I think might be going on and I'm just speculating I hadn't talked to them about it or anything like that I think now if you look at their live stream that uh, the latest one that Space Ape had one of the things that they were saying was that they are going to the five star is probably going to come up around level 20 and so I think that right now we got some things that uh, they were trying to change I think we got some things that we're trying to change we're trying to get this trying to get this to a level um, where people can actually beat the Titan I think that we're going to need those uh, those points for beating the, the third Titan for if, if we're gonna stay on schedule because you know a lot of times there's a schedule already in place on their part and I think that we need players to start winning at this level to stay on schedule um, that's just my theory on it I think that yeah and I think that after we get to the point where we can consistently beat that third note Titan that'll put us in position just based off of the amounts of points that we get per per battle I'm also curious to see 
what the remaining um, bases look like. I, I was hearing some players saying that the bases started to have get more difficult, which as I expected, but they were saying that hey, they got MDS on some of the bases, they got combiners on some of the bases after you get past that third Titan. So it'll be interesting. So that's what I was looking at here in a bit. In a bit I'll change my loadout because I'm using what I would consider to be an improper loadout for the situation. Um, but I do want to talk about that because I had a couple of different group chats on the line app that I was just talking to people about what's, what's the best combinations for which situations regarding Titan, Titan Assault Wars, just regarding the Titan period. When, like, when, when should you use certain things? So we'll talk about that here in a little bit as well. So I got a couple more bases I got to get before I can get to this one-on-one -on -one with the Titan. And then before I do... All right. Excuse me. Let me cut the camera out for a second. My dog just knocked it down. And yeah, we'll get back started. All right. So... Here we get another base, and we'll knock these couple out before I get back to before I get back to that one on one versus Metro. But in any in any event, honestly, man, I just don't like Titan Assault mode that much. I think that. I think it's kind of boring, and I honestly, I probably should have did my probably should did my battles before I got up here on video. But I, you know, it's one of those things. I don't, I don't get to mess with Tripticon, uh, you know, often not not like on video. So I said, well, why not? But it's just like I, I, I just, I just find it. I just find it boring and, and you know it doesn't take that much time it's just like one more thing to do weekly and uh, I kind of get annoyed by it to be honest let me see if my camera went back to all right cool so it didn't mess up my camera too badly I just wanted to check that to see if I was good to go back on the game screen yeah I'm off a little bit there let me change that all right cool But yeah, you know, you guys in the comments tell me how you guys feel about Titan Assault mode. I I feel like it's just it's just not fun, man. And it's like, granted, there's a little bit of element of challenge there with the one on ones versus the Titan, <laughs> but at the same time, you get you got to a certain point where it's just like, hey, man, I know I can't beat them. You might try it again after you power up a level and then realize you couldn't beat them. I didn't I didn't get how. Space Ape was like, uh, oh, we didn't realize people couldn't beat them. Like, they openly said at one point that it's like, that's the way it was designed. And I mean, they even made the, they even made the Titan and Titan Assault more difficult for a time period. So I, I really think it's a, it's a catch up mechanic or it's a, not a catch up mechanic per se, but something to use to keep us on schedule. That's what I think is going on there. But. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, as it stands, I think the current change is good. And I messed up because I still didn't go change my loadout. But we'll see what happens. So I always like to try to start here far back on the bottom. And I try to get this thing, try to keep some of it in slow motion because what I want to do is use his ability every 12 seconds. And then I want to go fire off another attack. So, uh, when I was talking to what the playtesters were talking to Fabian, one of the things he was saying was you should be able to beat this Titan if you if you time everything correctly. And so part of the good timing for it is to try to get as many long range attacks as you can and try to try to get trip to come before he starts using that tail whip. And so a lot of times what I'll actually run and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a bit is I like to actually run fireball. 
And then one of the reasons for that is I like to run fireball because I know it's going to be a direct hit, which is probably why I'm losing right now. But no worries, I'm going to go in there and we'll actually take a look at loadouts and see what it is we actually need. to be successful on this thing. So already I can see like it's it's much closer than it was before. And that's you know, I didn't beat them until the third time this go around. Like you can already see the sparks flying off of them. Um not like his spark, but like the you can see that he's got some damage there. And I just barely missed it. So what I'm going to do is, and I'm, I'm kind of glad that happened because what I'd like to do is go in there and pick my load, my load out a little bit. I'm going to change out of the camera screen real quick. So I'm not just looking down at my game on you guys on camera. So let's talk loadouts real quick and why I think they're important. So one of the things that I was discussing is, well, it's two different group chats that I was talking in. And then one of them, what we were discussing was which attacking abilities should you have assigned. And so for me, at one point I was using Null Ray because it was the newest one that I had. But, um, well, newer than Fireball, I should say, excuse me. So, but Fireball, here's the, here's the issue. So every 12 seconds, I'm shooting a Fireball at the target, causing 828 damage on impact and 1,490 uh, damage over time, uh, 1.5 times damage to bots and two times to Titans and PVP. So I want to look at something real quick because when I, what I had was the null ray and let's look, look at this description because here it's, it's another attack. that's every 12 seconds. You shoot 16 spreading null ray projectiles, each dealing 99 damage and 1.5 times damage, two times Oh, to bots and two times to titans and pvp and so one of the things that i was looking at is like is it better to have damage over time as opposed to um a, a, an ability that spreads out a little bit and the discussion kind of turned into and i think most of us agreed that it would be better to just have the damage over time so what i've been doing in some of my wars i've actually been slowing down some of my attacks and so I can let the Titan do some of the damage on the tail end of the base as opposed to just trying to get everything down quickly. And I've got the front, the upfront bots. I've got the, the high health bots up front to support that. So that's what I started doing. But I think we all, from a loadout standpoint, agree that you should use Photon Beam. And every 12 seconds, you fire a Photon Beam. It deals 2,483 damage to a single ground target. And then, you know, once again, it's the 1.5, the bots, and the two times to PvP. So, for the most part, on the offensive side, that's what I feel like uh, should be used. Now, the one thing I will say is that for bots that are over, um, you know, once they get to level 14, you have this fire resistance. And one of the things that I wanted to go test out is to see... How, how much of an impact that had on my battles. I hadn't got around to that yet. But, that, you know, it's got a 20% reduction over damage over time for you and your allies. So I think that I want to test that out just to see if Fireball, if it, if it has a drastic impact on my, on, on my war battles uh, using Fireball. Now, I won't just test it out in the war first. I'll probably test it on my own base. But when I start talking about losing... 20 percent you know now i'm talking about losing you know about 82 82 uh damage on that initial impact and actually now that, that's 20 percent so it'd actually be 100 and you know over 160 so um you know do i think that won't be significant probably not but at the same time uh it is worth investigating now for me personally one of the things that i always use as I use bulletproof as a passive effect, and I use that uh, particularly because I know, like I told you guys earlier, that I've been starting from behind. I, I, I you know, I, I have 
the first week of uh, Titan Assault because of the, the you know the time that it got released. I missed that, and I also missed a week when I was out and um, hit the NCAA tournament. I missed uh, not the entire week, but I missed some for that too because I was gone all week. But uh, I like to use the 20% damage reduction there. Um, and I like to use that particularly because like right now I'm a level 14 fighting the 15 and I don't want to get taken out easily so I want that damage reduction um, some of the other ones we have in here rejuvenate rejuvenate I, I, I feel like that's that's one that because it heals your bots 1% of their health every 5 seconds so you want to use that one uh, during your war situations or regular battles and that was actually another conversation I had in a separate line chat because you know, a lot of these guys that I was talking to said they don't use bulletproof because they don't see the value in it for the pure fact that it's like you're probably at 20 percent. It's probably not going to be the make or break point as long as you while you're fighting an opposing Titan use your abilities to make sure that you put in the damage first, which I which I totally agree with. And so if you know that there's a good chance that you're going to win offensively then by all means, go ahead and take Bulletproof off. Like now that I got 14 and most of the players that I'm playing against have 14 level, uh, level 14 Titan, I'm actually going to take Bulletproof off, but I'm not going to do it yet because it is good to use in the Titan Assault mode. The other thing that I like to make sure that I use though is the Fine Technician. And so for that one, you get 10% ability damage increase so I think everybody is under the general understanding that that's a good idea and so let me change to those two so when I'm in Titan Assault mode I actually like to use that fine technician and bulletproof just to make sure I'm not taking as much damage and I make sure I'm dishing out a lot of damage and then I only got the one Titan inspired right now that's for the Titan protection and it says when defeating the Titan, you provide 20% damage reduction to your allies for 30 seconds. That's one that you're going to use uh, when you're actually in your wars and when you're actually uh, in, in regular battles. So uh, that's what we're going to look at. All right, so I'm going to try this again. I'm going to go try going back into the Titan Assault mode with my loadout now changed and see if that has an effect for us. Alright, so same thing, I'm gonna hang back a little bit. This time I'm gonna use Fireball. And what I like is the Fireball has a tendency to try to keep him back, and you can actually see Triptychon shudder a little bit right before he does it. So it's a good indicator of when Fireball is about to be used. And you, the goal here is I try to keep him from walking up uh, a lot. So I keep using those techniques when they're available. And now I feel like I'm faring a little bit well. I'm still a little bit upside down on points, on health points. So we'll see how it goes. All right, right now I'm stunned. It's actually got a little bit worse. So I'm going to have to work on my timing. But it took me three times when I did it on the test server too. So we'll see how it goes. But Fabian says that if you get it time to where you just continuously use these attacks, you should be able to win. It was a, it was a tough win when I got it early on the test account. So think that all right so now I'm gonna have one more chance left and let's see how that goes make sure I got everything set up loadout loadout wise the way that I want to just want to double check all right so yeah that's what I wanted so let's go after it one more time well, I only got one more time. 
<laughs> we'll see how it goes. Either way, I can see it's definitely a big difference. Uh, I, I do feel like it's a little bit more balanced than it was previously. But yeah, the goal here, they said that Fabian says you should be able to beat this with a level with a level uh, 14. So that was the goal. You know, he said that was the goal the whole time. If you were able to continue using your attacks the entire time, um, then that's that's what he wanted the result to be. And so you had this uh, message this morning told us to take a well, actually message this originally on Friday. To have us take a look at it and made some changes over the weekend. But I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. So, still cutting it really close, but I said, I think he might have me again. Like I said, I always like to test everything out on the live server uh, because I've always, I've noticed that there's, sometimes there's some differences. It was, was kind of, I don't want to say it was easy. It was a tough grind amount win last time. And he got me by here. So, I think, uh, I think overall... I, th I think it's working. I think if I go do it with the correct timing, I think my timing was a little bit off this go around. Um, but like I said, I definitely was able to do it earlier on the test server. As a matter of fact, let me pull that up because I'd like to see what it looks like. Um, I'd like to see what some of those other battles look like. And I said, I actually got it the third time on the test server so it's just a little bit more practice with the timing but as while I pull that up um, you guys tell me in the comments how how yours went were you able to with the level 14 uh, go ahead and take out the the level 15 uh, Titan there and what loadouts do you typically use like I said I know I definitely need bulletproof in order to be able to try to use it in the in the Titan Assault mode. But like as you can see, man, this is gonna be one of those things where your timing is gonna have to be absolutely perfect and it's gonna be really, really close. I think it gets easier when you're doing the level 15, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Obviously, it'll take me a little bit longer now uh, having not got the level 15 Metro not having beat him this week on my live account. <laughs> So right now I'm just waiting on the test server to load. I want to try one battle uh, past that that level, past that level 15 Metroplex to see just to see what it looks like. I didn't I didn't go past that point when I was testing it this morning. But yeah, all right. It looks like we can we get the test account up. Pull Titan Assault off on it. I just, I just want to run one battle. I just want to see what they look like on that particular, on this particular server. Yeah, so you can see this a little bit more difficult. It's a little bit more difficult of a base on here. Um, nothing too crazy. Should squeeze out a few additional points out of this one. But yeah, I think I think the balance definitely works. I said it was a week ago. I couldn't, I didn't have a chance at beating that that level fifteen Metroplex at all. And now it's just like a, it's just like a second away. So I said if I clean up the timing a little bit, I think it'll be all right. And I said I know several players who did actually, you know, beat them. So yeah, I think the balance and work good. Yeah, I said I think they they brought them back down. They were talking about bringing them down to about 
uh, a level 12 Titan uh, play testers told him, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Just go ahead, you know, let it be tough, but like, let it be, let it be somewhere where it's a little bit balanced. And uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's good to go. So I like it. I think it's a good thing they did. Uh, I also, I also think that that uh, while I was upset about the timing of trying to adjust the death ray, um, I felt like it was one of those things that we knew about the whole time about it doing double damage and you know. But and I, I did notice earlier with that. I can actually show that to when I was looking at the double damage. You could actually see that sometimes in these clusters now they don't it doesn't destroy everything with the with the the second the second shot you know you had that direct hit and it doesn't destroy everything with that second shot and also up here you know um well no nah, i'm not gonna do that so i got actually got flat line up here but I said, i'll show you i'll show you what he looks like i mean at this point i think you see what he looks like go to but yeah uh, apparently uh, space they gave us permission to talk about flatline today they said that his ability is going to work on defense so I know that was one of the questions that people were asking and I think it's going to be pretty cool, man. And it seems like just from the little bit of testing I did do with them, uh, a lot of a lot of times, like, I, I won't go uh, start maxing these guys out or putting any points into them until we get closer to what it looks like balance-wise. And that's why, that's why I hadn't really put a lot of test time into them other than the special ability itself. But I'm going to get them out of here because I'm not going to do gameplay with them. I'm going to throw in another healer. But yeah, he's going to wind up being one of the better healers in the game. He, he's going to be, wind up being the best healer in the game. So if you got guys up there who hadn't made your bids yet for the leaderboard and you're interested in that bot, I suggest you do so because it's going to it's going to be worth it, I feel like. And I think it's going I think it's going to lead to more more walk attacks and everything like that. But I just want to take a look at. I just want to take a look at the Titan and that damage that gets done for. That damage that gets done by that death ray. Alright, so I'm just going to focus on the actual Titan battle right here. Let these guys fight it out. And we'll see if that death ray. I really just want to see the death ray in the double, the double hit. And I'm gonna come out of the screen real quick. Cause now the double, now that the double hit is gone, and I'm say, I'm gonna say, what do I got up here? I got some armor on on these uh, auto cannons. Let's let's target it. Yeah, so there was a point in time where the double damage, the it would have double damage, it would have took this mortar out. So yeah, it seems like it's working properly now. Uh, it's just one of those things where it's just one of those things where it was messed up to begin with. That was never the way that the tool tip was written, so it's never supposed to be designed that way. And so now it looks like it's fixed. But hey, tell me, tell me in the comments what you guys think about the changes to the Titan. And um, yeah, man, like yeah, just let me know. And then if you are a follower of mine on my Discord server, I'll leave the link for that. If you're not, uh, so that way you can kind of come in there and, and talk about it and tell me about your experiences with the Titan. So, uh, but other than that, I'm gonna get out of here. I will. 
come back later on in the week I hadn't decided what I'm gonna do for my weekly Thursday video um, but I'll wait and see what comes out in the newsletter first before I go in there and, and make that decision but other than that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you on the battlefield Freezy is out